Hi everyone, I just wanted to check in and share my sketchbook with you. So you at least have the first few steps to get started for your Penn Station drawing. As you can see, I gave you a few options because I know everyone's art style is different and especially being that we're working a little more independently at home, I didn't want anyone to feel like they didn't have something that would work for them. So feel free to choose whichever style works best for you. So I happen to start with the impressionistic version of the Penn Station waiting area. And what I did was I just laid out my big shapes. This is far from done. All three are very far from done. Um, but I just laid out those semicircular shapes, some of the bars um, in the windows and some of the ceiling pattern and some more windows over here. So I'm just going to continue to layer and build. Again, this one's going to come more to life once you start adding in your shading and some of the other elements. But this is, these are the just very first steps that I wanted to share with you. The next one, as you'll see, is the pen and ink. Okay, the more traditional line drawing. And this one I found, especially using lined paper or loose leaf, even without a ruler. I did this without a ruler, just in case you don't have one, so you can see what it will actually look like. Um, it was pretty easy to get this really clean and symmetrical as much as possible. So if you're feeling a little frustrated or not knowing where to start, I would say this probably would be your best bet for that. You'll also see that once you've gotten all your lines set up as far as the big space, the little details are really just small rectangles for the bars on the semicircular windows up top and then for the columns down below. And then from there, all you really have to focus on are the hash marks, which are these little diagonal marks over here, and then those the cross check that's up in the roof area. So just going down and across and then just being really careful with that. So this again, I would say if you're not sure where to start, this is your best bet because the shapes are very clear and it's really helpful to get started on this one. If you're up for a challenge, I did include this one. I think this one is tricky um, just because it does include not only shading and some more detailed shapes, but also it contains perspective because it's looking down the hallway. So this I find to be the most challenging. And as you can see, as I started in my sketchbook, I didn't even have enough room to add in my second layer of these arcs in the ceiling. So I just wanted to kind of share that as a realistic moment. Um, but I did start by laying out some of these basic shapes as far as the semicircles are concerned. And then what I noticed was everything came to a point in the middle of the ceiling. So I worked from the middle out as far as that. You'll notice even from my lines, cause I did it in pen so you could see it better on camera that I did have to kind of sketch over those lines to make them a little bolder. If you're using pencil, and then if you go over it with Sharpie or a pen, you, you'll be able to make your lines a little cleaner even than mine. So I just wanted to share that as well. So I hope this helps you get started, at least so you get your first few steps. And then you can add in your details at your own pace. Like I mentioned, all of these lessons are designed to take your time, and we're going to be spending at least two sessions on these. So, you know, take the time that you need. I'm still waiting for people to join me on Google Classroom, so I will not rush anyone in terms of this project. So I just wanted to give you a heads up on that. Okay, thanks so much for joining me and I hope that helped.